What's up, y'all? All right, so you can see it's going down today. I got my pump and my motor, and I don't care what happens today. That pump, that motor are going on that tank. And I don't care what happens, it's going down. So, if y'all missed out on my other videos where I'm working on this motor, and I haven't done a video on that yet, but I did a motor bearing swap, uh, what do you want to call it? I changed the bearings in this thing, and I painted it. Check that video out. And check me out getting my new air compressor. Check me out moving the tank. And what other video? Oh, I painted the tank. So those are the videos I got done so far. Y'all can check out. I'll put links in the description where y'all can go to those videos because they might not show up in uh, Suggested or anything. But make sure that you subscribe because uh, you're not going to want to miss out because I'm going to have a bunch more air compressor videos. So I'm going to have, you know, like I got the um, magnetic starter over here. And it's the wrong size, so I gotta get the right size one and show y'all how to, you know, wire a magnetic starter and do all that kind of stuff and like all the electrical stuff. I know people have a lot of problems, a hard time doing electrical stuff, so I'm gonna be making a bunch more videos. So don't forget to subscribe while y'all are, you know, here so that you don't miss out. Alright, so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this, but that pump has got to get all the way over there and I'm gonna have to get a helper because it weighs like a hundred something pounds so I'm painting this thing today too because it's like 50 degrees out here and it's been you know in the teens or whatever so this thing is getting painted today too so I'm probably gonna take this over there first and then mask it up and hit it with some paint so I'll show you all that and then I guess I'll carry this over there after I'm done painting so you can see I got a ton of stuff here. Pressure switch, automatic drain valve, some oil, the bottom drain piece, the automatic drain valve thing that goes in the side, a pin, I don't know why that's there, um, you know, little pieces that go on here, all the nuts and bolts for where I took it apart at the guy's shop and brought it here. I got a gauge. Another gauge. This was the one that was on it. I might get different ones, but this is what I got for now. But I'm going to give you all a close-up before I hit this thing with some paint. And it is going to be a chore to paint this. Because I don't have a spray gun. And you can see all these fins. Oh, man. I guess I'll just get in there with the brush and just get in there, I guess. But... I know I probably shouldn't have left it on the bench like that, but oh well. It's not doing anything. It's resting on the bearings. So yeah, I got the bottom painted. I hit it with a lick of paint last night because uh, it was all rusty and stuff. All right, so let's get started. Let me grab my helper and... I guess I'll film me setting it on the tank. I don't know if y'all really want to see two people carrying a pump. I guess I'll just put it right here and stick that pump up there. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to go get the pump right now and put it on here. I don't know how well this is going to work, but y'all are going to see. Move your, move your hand on the floor. Let me get this, let me get this. Get it under, get it out from under there. Man, that was, whew, that thing was heavy. Oh my gosh, I don't know how much it weighs. That, that thing is heavy. Man, that thing was heavy. Well, I got it on there. So now I got to bolt it down. And my pants just ripped even more. Um, I got my bolts here. Lock, nut, washer thing. I don't remember what these ones are called. 
but it's got the little things on it. Oh man, I'm out of breath. Right here. So it serves as a nut, a washer, and a lock washer all in one. So these are good, and I got little washers. I got four exactly like this. And I'm gonna bolt this bad boy down. So we got one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna give y'all a close up of me bolting this together, so. All right. We got our washers. We got our washers. And it's not lined up at all. It scratched the heck out of this thing when I was building it or doing this, but I'll just touch it up. But um, come on. There's one. There's two right here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a you know some slick editing and I'm gonna paint this thing. When I paint this thing, I'm gonna have it, you know, the camera backed away and I'm gonna fast forward the whole thing. It should look pretty cool. So hopefully if I know anything about editing, it's gonna look really cool when I'm painting this. We'll see how it comes out. And then I'm gonna get these in the back. All right, so it's time to paint. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little rundown here. Man, I think it doesn't do it justice. Hold on. I might get a good shot of this. So I want y'all to see how big this thing is. There you go. That's what it looks like. It is massive. Yeah, so you can see the thing is massive. Look how massive that thing is. Man, that is going to be fun to move into the corner. But, uh, all right, time to hit this with a little bit of paint. It's got oil. I got to acetone it all up to get all that oil and stuff off. But you can see, I mean, I'm dealing with stuff like this. It just looks nasty. I mean, it's it's nothing, you know, functional that's going to mess it up. But uh I got to get in all those little fins and I'm going to hit it with some paint after I get all this oil off of here. Now, if you transport your air compressor with the pump laying down for any period of time, you're going to want to make sure and let that thing sit so the oil goes back down where it's supposed to be and not up in here you don't want oil on the top of the motor and all these nuts and stuff are tight all right time to hit this thing with some paint so how am i going to do this all right so we're using a combination of this and these to paint this now this is gonna get all down in there look how easily perfect these right here are going to be used to brush this on and you know i don't i'm not even gonna probably not even gonna sand there's no point it's cast a um what is it cast iron there's no point in sanding it maybe to get some of these chips i don't care but i am going to mask this up mask that up the stickers of course and this number plate and then we'll be back and y'all be seeing me put some paint on this thing. All right, now it's time to paint this thing. Y'all can see I got it all messed up here. And I got the whole thing acetoned. I rubbing alcoholed it. And then I acetoned it. And there's no grease on this thing. So it's time to paint it. Uh, this is the mask I wear when I paint stuff. And it's a heavy duty respirator. And yeah, man, you can't smell anything through this, but you don't want to be in an enclosed space. I got the shop door open, so I mean, a lot of guys paint without a mask, but dude, I'm not breathing that stuff, so I always wear this, so no more talking. I'm just going to put this thing on, you know, fast forward, and we're going to get this thing painted.
All right, y'all, it's the next morning, and this thing came out awesome. I'm so proud of how this came out. I'll give y'all a little close-up here. Man, it looks good. It looks real good. Most important sticker right there. But yeah, I didn't paint over the copper and brass stuff. And uh, you see the um, air filter housing? I made sure not to paint over all that stuff. I'll take that off and hit it with some black paint later. But yeah, this thing looks good. There you go. Now painting this cast iron, it was easy because it's already texturized, so you just get the paint on it and you're good. You don't have to worry about getting it perfect. But the hard part was these fins right here because y'all saw how I had to get in here with the brush and paint them. That was a pain. And up here too, that was such a pain. But uh, it wasn't too bad. Definitely would have sprayed it if I had the chance, but... All right. All right, so I'm going to go grab this motor. Man, this thing is going to be so heavy. Holy shit. Woo. Good God. Man, that thing is heavy. Y'all didn't hear that. Oh my god, that thing weighs 100 pounds, I swear. Alright. Motor's back up there. Alright, now it's time to put the belts back on, so I'm going to switch out to the other side. Alright, so I got these belts, I'm going to put them on here. Um, I got to line these pulleys up, and... Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to get them lined up, I mean... um. They weren't lined up before. This motor wasn't originally on here. Somebody drilled holes to put it on here, but I need it to be able to go on there in those slots. That slot like that, it needs to be able to slide so I can tension it. So I got to play with it, but I'm not going to bore y'all with that right now. I'm just going to throw these on here so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right, so you can see I got to play with it. I got to tension them up and do all that stuff, but I just want to throw them up there to see what they look like. I was thinking about building them. Um, a cage for it because the guy didn't he threw it away because it was all rattly and stuff but I got a bunch of expanded metal over there flattened expanded metal I'm thinking about building the cage for it but I don't know because it's going back in the corner of the shop so it might not be worth it let me know what y'all think in the comments but um, I gotta adjust all this stuff to get it all back aligned up and I'm not gonna bore y'all with that so you know, it's just lining the pulleys up, lining the mounts up. Thanks for watching, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the links in the description because I'll put links to all the other videos I made fixing up this air compressor and fixing the motor, painting the tank, all that kind of stuff. And I'll keep it updated. So make sure you check out those links so you can watch those videos in order. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe while you're at it for more videos because I'm going to be posting more videos working on this thing and other tool videos. So don't forget to subscribe. Later.